With the Williams Newsmakers, I am Tony Rock Yaw. The educational sector across the Caribbean is among the sectors impacted by the coronavirus, or what we call COVID-19. To hear more on how the University of the West Indies is addressing this matter, I chatted with the Dean of the Faculty of Social Sciences and Senior Lecturer in Management, Professor Justin Robinson. UWI as a whole has moved its teaching online. Cavill Campus in particular, we are restarting our teaching today in an online mode. So all classes resume today in a fully online mode. So we see this as a quite, a, quite an important step to fulfilling the obligation towards students despite the challenges of the COVID pandemic. We also see it as an important step in terms of Barbados and the region where aspects of the economy and the society that can function online and in a safe manner are able to do so as we keep activity going during this very difficult period. All faculties at UWI are resuming their teaching today. We had suspended teaching for two weeks to ensure that all the faculty were trained, fully trained in online teaching, that all the infrastructure was in place getting students ready to learn online and so on. So all of that was put in place in the last two weeks. So we are beginning our teaching fully online from today. So we're going to do that over the next three weeks to complete all the teaching for semester two. And then we move into examinations to really fulfill our obligations to students. And what do you anticipate would be the outcomes of teaching online? The main outcome that we want to achieve is to fulfill our obligations to students in terms of the semester two. The semester two was in full swing when the COVID pandemic hit, COVID-19 pandemic hit Barbados. So by, by using the available technology, we are, we have, some persons are able to complete their degrees. For example, that's important. We have a number of students who this would have been their final semester and they're looking to graduate. So that, that's quite an important step in their life and persons in the other years that they actually get to complete year two. Uh, and I said, I think it's also an important aspect in terms of the Barbados economy and society, that aspects of the society that are able to deliver their goods and services in an online mode do so, so that we can get the economy functioning as far as possible in a safe manner. KFL campus, I mean, we have an open campus, but KFL campus essentially is a face-to-face -face degree. So while individual lectures may have had an online component to their courses, and there maybe have been one or two courses that were fully online, for us, this is a major project where if we offer, say, 200 courses a semester, you'd be moving from having maybe 10 online to all 200 being offered online. So that's a, it's a, it is a major development where all of the teaching and all of the testing examination will be done in, an, in a fully online mode. I think also important, I mean, one of our challenges, one of the issues that has maybe taken us some time to work out is that there, there, there are a number of students, maybe a small minority, who might not have access to the internet at home, they may not have a laptop. So that's certainly one of the issues that we have been working in on. So I think an important aspect of it is that the courses are delivered what we call synchronously. So you can go online and access it right away. But they're also done asynchronously where everything is recorded. So persons can go back and access what was done live in their own time. And that could be particularly important for people who might not have real-time internet access all the time. I think we've done... A pretty good job in terms of preparedness from our end and the infrastructure. Obviously, this is very new, so we are going to review it as we go along, but really ensuring that that small group of students who might not have internet access, might not have their own laptop, that, that they are able to be serviced. That, that, that's really one of our challenges right now, and we are working through as many options as we can to ensure that we can service as many people as possible and not really disadvantage anyone. So basically... We are completing the courses that were running in a face-to-face -face mode before the disruption from the COVID-19 pandemic. So it's not new courses or programs. We are using the available technology 
to complete the courses that were running before the disruption. That was Dean of the Faculty of Social Sciences and Senior Lecturer in Management, Professor Justin Robinson. And I am Tony Shirokyo in the Williams Newsmakers. Good evening.